Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Mesh Roshin, the founder of Project Bantu. Project Bantu is it work with Capoeira Angola with young people. And I'm here to ask for your support to make another dream happen. Where I was planning, I'm planning to take, I believe, a group to Brazil to learn a little bit more about Capoeira Angola and come back to Australia and continue or develop. Hi, my name is Evelyn and I have been doing Capoeira for like four years now. I started Capoeira at school. I just met those two normal people and I just, yeah, they called me. Then the teachers told me, oh, they're from Brazil. And I started doing Capoeira for the first time. I didn't really like it. The second time I went, I really liked it. It was, it was cool. It was kind of new learning a new language. The movement, you get to meet new people. Um, from new people, you had to be with people. So it's like enjoyment. When you're starting it, it's like happiness. Happiness is growing. And yeah. Um, I went to different kind of school, like four schools, four three schools. And we have to teach um, the kids how to play Kapitara, but it was kind of diff um, difficult for me because it was my first time teaching a region. It was kind of hard. I love, I love teaching now. It's like, I don't know, I just love it. Like, when you tell kids what to do, you start counting one, two, three, go there. Then it's, it's kind of interesting when you, you're doing this kind of stuff in the form of you. Yeah, my relationship with Messi is awesome. I used to get, I used to piss him off, but now it's like, yeah, I can tell him when I'm angry, I can tell him, oh, I'm not sure, I don't like this, I'm really angry at this, 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 that, before I would just walk off, yeah, and say, I don't like this, don't tell me what to do, um, <laughs> yeah, so now it's, it's, everything's cool, like, calm, yeah. Um, I first met Evelyn a few years ago when I interviewed her for a, um, an article in the Starts magazine and um, back then she was um, quite qui uh, fairly quiet although she was I think coming into her role as one of the more senior members of the Capoeira group. Um, over that time though I've seen her in a number of other occasions at Starts events and other times that I've spoken with her and she's really developed into much more confident, um, much more mature person who's really comfortable it seems now with um, taking on responsibility and also taking care of her fellow Capoeira participants. Um, most recently Evelyn um, spoke at the Starts Refugee Ball where she was one of the keynote speakers and she spoke to the audience about how Capoeira had changed her life basically and that was a really moving speech that she gave and everybody at the ball was really affected by that and it was a huge help to, to us to have someone really demonstrating the value of the Capoeira program. I see Evelyn well, with Capoeira. I'm so happy because the same changed their life, Evelyn. Evelyn changed because uh, I see like a big change to know what the Evelyn doing. Respect. Yeah. I've met Evelyn six years ago when we brought Project Bantu, which is a social intervention that uses Capoeira Angola and offer Brazilian art form to her school. And I have seen through the years Evelyn blossom from a young uh, girl of 14 years old who had trouble at school to a young woman today who after six years is helping co-facilitating the pro program in uh, her own school, delivering it to young people who have gone through similar experiences, refugee experiences that she had. And today we would really like to help Evelyn to go to Brazil and, um, and improve her skill and be able to come back to Australia and share it with the young people here. And I think that's um, not only Evelyn's dream, but it's the dream of a lot of people that are around Evelyn and not least the young people that are receiving her help at school. It's 
it's gonna be a really good experience because I get to see where Capra was made and how it was how it meant to be how I can't wait to see how they're gonna show us the respect how they're gonna show us everything that they do in the study Capra Angola uh, we count on you to make this happen please if you can make any donation we, we appreciate and you see the short process for development. Thank you, Mestre Luiz. Saudação pessoal, estou aqui mais uma vez para pedir a, a, a sua ajuda nesse nosso projeto. Como sabem, a gente trabalha com crianças e adolescentes e sempre está precisando dos amigos na, no processo. Conto com vocês para dar uma contribuição para que eu consiga levar a Evelyn para o Brasil, do Brasil, para o Brasil. E com certeza vocês verão o resultado no processo de desenvolvimento dessa jovem. Muito obrigado, um abraço.